Hello there, Main Street friends. Welcome back to today's video. Today's video is sponsored by McDonald's. Woo! Thank you so much, McDonald's, for sponsoring this video. We're going to go through the drive through and get some chicken nuggets, like always. Uh, today's video, as I said, is sponsored by McDonald's. It is part of the Ronald McDonald campaign where you round up to the nearest dollar. So I'm gonna pull through and then tell you all about how that works. So today's uh, Ronald McDonald Roundup, you can help provide families uh, with hospitalized children something of real value, time together. Even the smallest of donations can help make a difference. Hi, yes, can I get a um, chicken nugget happy meal with a vanilla shake, please? I'm sorry, what kind of happy meal you say you would like? Uh, the chicken nugget. All right, anything else? That's it. Can I round up uh, for the RMHC families? Uh, Fine Foundation. Okay, so by donating one cent, you help a family give their child a hug and a kiss good night. Um, by donating 42 cents, you can help uh, provide a family 10 minutes of playtime together. 99 cents helps allow a parent to read a bedtime story, and it's $80 for a full night together at the Ronald McDonald House. So we rounded ours up, and the total came to $5. A delicious happy meal, very excited, and very excited to help some families at Christmas. No, I'm all right. Thank you. So basically, the Ronald McDonald Foundation has an annual campaign uh, where you get to round up to the nearest dollar, as you just saw and I'm gonna park for just a second so we can have a little chat. So when you go to a McDonald's, you may recognize there's a donation box, um, but to keep up with the times, they've added it so you can now do it digitally. Um, you'll see it when you go through the drive-thru right on their sign. It says, ask about rounding up. So you round it up to the nearest dollar. Um, the Ronald McDonald Foundation is heavily funded by donations, so the Roundup incentive is very good for helping these families, especially at this time of year for Christmas. So the next time you head to McDonald's, consider rounding up your purchase. It is for a great cause and helps families in need. So thanks again, McDonald's, for giving me this opportunity to explain the campaign and to get some delicious food and delicious shakes. That's good. Now let's go do some shopping. You guys, the Go-Gurt is Frozen themed. Thank you McDonald's for sponsoring this. I'm just so happy and excited about it. Um, I would have gone there anyways if I wasn't, even if I wasn't sponsored because I love McDonald's chicken nuggets so much. Um, I will say, this sauce right here is what I get to dip my nuggets in. It's a sweet and sour sauce. I've tried sweet and sour sauces from a lot of restaurants and let me tell you none of them are good none of them this one is so good it is the only sweet and sour sauce i will ever get because it is more sweet than it is sour <laughs> um and a lot of the other ones i get i find have too much of like a vinegar taste in them so i'm never really a huge fan but love mcdonald's love their chicken nuggets love their sweet and sour and as you saw my go-gurt was frozen themed so that's pretty cool okay so honesty time how many of you actually like dipping your fries into a milkshake? Am I the only one? Because apparently like Nathan thinks it's absolutely disgusting. A lot of my friends think it's disgusting. I know I can't be the only one because a friend from Michigan is the one that told me to do it and I thought it was disgusting at first too and then I tried it and was like, whoa. So I'm all about dipping your fries in your milkshakes. Uh, it is better with vanilla than obviously it is chocolate or anything else, but yeah. Am I just weird? Let me know. Look where I have ended up. There's an Old Navy and there is an Express. This is entirely Kiki Chanel, Kylie's fault from YouTube. Yep, this is your fault. I've been, I've been influenced. Okay, she was right. There is a lot of cute stuff already just upon walking in. And there is the shirt there, her and Jarvis got. Christmas cost me an arm and a leg. Old Navy sells elf now? It's different. And candles. It's 
smells pretty good. I like the let it snow with the pineapple. Keep it together, sweetheart, candy cane, heart. That one's cute. Believe it. What is this one? For sure. <laughs> I think this is Santa Paws. Yeah, Santa Paws. Just be claws. <laughs> so clever. Very merry. I like that one. I came to slay. Very merry Christmas. Nog. Noggin? Nog. Okay. Welcome back. I'm going to do a quick little haul of some of the stuff that I picked up from the outlets today. Um, my lipstick held up pretty well. We are going to fix it. As you can see, it's a little patchy right there. Now, I did have a milkshake and um, chicken nuggets, but for the most part, this lipstick stays on really, really well throughout the day. Um, I mean, obviously, a full milkshake, and it was only just that little spot where I had the straw. So, not bad at all. Maybelline, what are you? The Maybelline matte ink super stay in the color ruler um because a couple of you asked me the other day what i was wearing so that's what it is and it is phenomenal um just a little wardrobe rundown here i'm wearing this coat from victoria's secret it is like a plush velvet um and then my hair tie is from kohl's that i used my kohl's cash on so it was basically free um, so we're going to jump into a couple of these pieces. So I went to a thrift store and I found um, a couple of things. This is one that I'm probably going to keep for myself. A couple are for resale, but this one I'm definitely keeping. It says the holidays are magic. Walt Disney World. And it has Mickey on the front with a little present. Probably going to wear this one for Christmas. So excited about that. And then I found this like super size tee. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this or sell this yet. Um... It's like a 2XL, but I thought it would be really cute as like a t-shirt dress because it has lions on it, cheetahs, rhinos. It's very safari with like a map all over it. And I just thought this would be so cool to make a t-shirt dress and wear it at Animal Kingdom. So I may still do that and then sell it afterwards. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Um, it depends on how it looks. Um, this is to sell. So I found this a brand new hat. This is still at Kohl's, I believe. It still has the price tag on it for 26 bucks. I got this for 50 cents. Super cute. So that one's going to go on Poshmark. I got a couple other things for Poshmark. I think this is Lou and Gray. Yeah. Lou and Gray is super expensive and very, very soft always. So this is like a kind of like charcoal gray and then black t-shirt dress like long sleeve dress i don't know what we want to call it um we have this bell dress which i picked it up and i was like this looks kind of like a disney bound dress sure enough it's bell's dress um from the live action beauty and the beast this is from hot topic so those are a couple of the pieces for resale there's a couple other things in there there's a winnie the pooh plush Ugh. i don't want to dip this bag and like everything everything dump but this is a very vintage Winnie the Pooh from Sears so he's super cute and then I have this dress right here which was the find of the day this is a free people dress and it's a long sleeve all lace dress doing a terrible job of showing you but we are sitting in the car so there you go very cool my Poshmark order came whoa our lighting just went crazy let's move you and see if that makes a difference a little bit kind of Hey yo. My Poshmark order came and it came with this cute little thank you card. So thank you very much to the seller. Um, I should get better about that and make little thank you cards. And then as you all saw my fiasco the other day of going to Fabletics and kind of feeling ripped off, I went on Poshmark and was like, can I get these for cheaper? Sure enough, I got these leggings for, I believe, $12. They're in this really pretty blush pink. They still have the tags on. The tag says $64.99. Um, I went to Express and they had 50% off the entire store. This is all Kiki's fault, as I said earlier. Um, this was I believe originally like $75. This is in the men's section. And no, it was $79. So this was 80 bucks. This was 40% off and then I had a coupon for additional off. It was ridiculous. So I ended up getting this for I believe 20 bucks. It's so soft and cozy. I got the men's extra small. Has the hood. I'm just going to look like a walking snowball and I'm so excited. I'm going to take this uh to Bermuda, so I'm probably going to wear this on the plane since it's super cozy. And then 
The last place I went was Old Navy. And I did end up finding the sweatshirt that Kylie was wearing. This is all her fault. It says Christmas cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> it was the very last one. They actually pulled it off the mannequin for me. <laughs> and then I got these two little t-shirts. They were an additional 75% 70, off, I believe. So this shirt came out to $3. It just says sweetheart with the little candy canes. And then I got the polar bear one. He's super cute. Very Merry Christmas. Um, some polka dot shorts. And... Oh, I got the That's a Wrap sweatshirt. It's down here in the bottom, but it's green and it says That's a Wrap. So I'm probably going to wear that on December 26th, Boxing Day, because that'll be a wrap of Christmas. <laughs> Should be lots of fun. I'm sure there's a couple more pieces in here, but I'm not going to dig through these bags and waste your time and be all crinkly for all the headphone users watching. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had fun joining me on this little shopping day. Um, and going to McDonald's. Again, if you do go to McDonald's, make sure you round up. It goes for a good cause. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you around like a donut.